Hey, Mana fam, welcome back. Happy Wednesday morning. So great to be here with each and every one of you. This week, we're going through Isaiah 6, 8, what it means to understand God's calling in our life, and then action it, live it out. So yesterday, we talked about the importance of hearing, listening. Today, I want to talk about the second piece, which I would call general callings, the idea that we're all as Christians called to things collectively, um, irregardless of what our specific callings are, which we're gonna get into tomorrow. So the piece of the verse that I think touches on this is, et mi eshla umi yelek lanu, whom shall I send who will go for us? So God is in this vision that Isaiah's having, he's asking, you know, who, I've got this message, who's gonna go for us? And so while we will touch on specific callings tomorrow, today I wanna talk about general ones. You see, as a believer, when you agree to follow Jesus, there are, general callings that all of us have inherited. They're obligations that we're commanded to go through. For instance, we're called to love our neighbor. We're called to forgive freely, to honor our mother and father. We're also called to live righteously. Some of the greatest general callings include things like loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Another one is the Great Commission. Matthew 28, verse 19, go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. In fact, the The verse that we have on the back of our short-term missions leader shirt, so it's a pullover. Anyone who leads a short-term mission or is an assistant lead gets one. The verse at the top is Caes Testes Mao Martires, which is the centerpiece of Acts 1-8, and it means, and you shall be therefore for me witnesses. And I wanted to touch on this because this is serve month, and so we have a a 20-plus day series of opportunities where we can be witnesses in our community. And that's not just something that some of us are called to, that's something that all of us are called to. You see, regardless of your profession, your context, your setting, your season in life, you can shine as a light for Jesus in your context where God has placed you right now. And that leads me to my book recommendation for today. It's called The Search for God and Guinness. It's by Stephen Manfield, strongly recommended. And in it, it, he chronicles not just how the Guinnesses, a family in Ireland, built their beer empire, but he also talks about how as devout believers, they said, you know, we brew beer, but how can we use the influence we have in this city to advance God's kingdom? And so even though their primary mechanism for making money was brewing beer, they took the Great Commission to heart. They funded orphanages and churches. They funded missionaries. Many of them became missionaries. They were some of the first ones to incorporate free health care into their company. They would pay for their employees um, to further their education. If employees died, they would agree to take care of their families for life. When the Great War happened and uh, their employees had to go off and serve, they said, we're going to hold on to your job and you have a guaranteed job when you come back so that you can go serve your nation um, without having to worry about what will I do when this ends. And so to me, it's a beautiful story of how regardless of what your profession is, no matter what you do, we have a general calling to honor God, to glorify him in everything we do and to serve as witnesses. So that's what I want to leave you with today, Mana Fam, is really taking that to heart. Gaius this is Mal Martires. How can you be a witness to Jesus this week in your community? Take care and see you tomorrow to talk about specific callings. Thank you.